Hello, grace and peace be multiplied to you all in Jesus' name. Romans chapter 12 is our, is our study this morning. Romans chapter 12 is often known as the chapter for Christian service and Christian conduct. Romans chapter 12 um, is largely called the chapter for Christian conduct and Christian service. But that's where we're at this morning. Romans chapter number 12. Romans chapter number 12. Romans chapter number 12 is our chapter this morning. We'll make our declarations and we'll race to Romans chapter number 12 um, from verse 1 to 21. 1 to 21. Romans chapter number 12, 1 to 21. Ma yo wa. Uh, Romans chapter number 12, 1 to 21. 1 to 21. Romans chapter number 12. Verse 1 to 21. Glory to God. Romans chapter number 12. Jide Baoni. Shuapa. Romans 12. Let's make our declaration. Um, they will move from there. You know, I just, you know, quickly reflected. There were days when I started doing this in 2020. Teaching Bible every morning. Some of those days will be five and six. I remember very well. Be five and six. I was still teaching the Bible study. Yeah, some of those days will be five, six, eight. Who remembers? Who are the OGs who you were here when I was teaching Bible study? 2020. When everybody was doing the popular prayer thing. And we're just teaching Bible study in 2020. I started this in February 20. Wait, no, yeah, no, no, February 2020. You started in April 2020. Yeah, yes, Nancy was here. Nancy was here. Okay. Yes, sure. Nancy was amongst the seven at that time. Nancy Mosun was amongst the seven at that time. We now moved to 40, 45. Those, those were later. Ramo. But Nancy, Pastor Mosun, yes. Yes, they've been here. Tovi, yes. Bisola, yes. This would be among the five. Um, there's Ruthie, Ruthie from, um, from, where's Ruthie from again? Ruthie from, ah, come on guys. Where's is it Germany? Yeah, Ruthie was among, you know, so just saying, uh, these people, I'm like, yeah, Sweden, is that where Ruthie's at? Yes, Ruthie from Sweden too. Yeah, yeah, this, that's how we started, consistency. We continue to continue contact. But, you know, now we're 100, sometimes we're 200, sometimes we're 300, we we'll stay put stay consistent to the word of God. Now, let's make our declaration. Like I said, it's not citation, it's declaration. So take advantage of it. It will bless you at the count of three. One, two, three, go. I am the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. I am the redeemed of the Lord. I am the beloved of Abba. All my sins have been forgiven. I am passionately loved by God. I am powerfully helped by God. I am kept and protected by God. I enjoy angelic assistance. I am irrevocably blessed. I am eternally forgiven. I am the healed of the Lord. I enjoy divine health. I have the favor and the wisdom of God. I am fruitful. I flourish, excel, and prosper in all that I do. Hey. I have the multipliers anointing. Nothing can be against me. Nothing dies in my hands. I am never stranded. 
the supernatural is natural to me. All things are working together for my good. God sure loves me more than the devil hates me. And grace is working for me. Glory to God. Glory to God. Romans chapter number 12. Romans chapter number 12, Romans chapter number 12, Romans chapter number 12. We begin reading from verse 1 to 21. Hey, guys, don't miss me week going on here today. Don't let the devil cheat you. Whatever you do, don't let the devil cheat you. That's all you do. Don't let the devil cheat you. Don't let the devil tell you, you can watch your mouth. Don't worry. Don't do that. Monica Oga. Ha! Huh. Some children, eh? Let me not talk. Doesn't matter how you draw them close. That thing that they want to do, to do it. Romans chapter number 12. I begin reading from verse 1. Romans 12 from verse 1. Some fathers have children. Ah! I have people of God have children. Hey! I have. Ah, guy. Okay. I have a, hey. Mm. So Romans chapter number 12, from verse 1. Father, bless your word in our hearts, in Jesus' name. As Christ is revealed, we are unveiled. Thank you for the teaching, preaching of your word. It is in Jesus' matchless name. Amen. Now, as we read Romans chapter number 12, I want you to understand that this is called the Christian conduct chapter. It's called the Christian service chapter. So it has a lot of vertical, horizontal, vertical, horizontal, horizontal, vertical. I beseech you therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, I beseech you therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice, wholly acceptable to God, which is your reasonable service. Do not jump into present your body. Understand that this can only be done by the mercies of God. I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God. That means you can do this, you can only do this by the mercies of God. By the mercies of God. By the mercies of God. That you present your body as a living sacrifice, wholly acceptable to God, which is your reasonable service. This can only be done by the what? The mercies of God. This can only be done by what? The mercies of God. So message says, um, you present your daily life and accepting what he has done for you is the best way to do anything for him. Verse 2 says, and do not be conformed to this word. That means as a believer, you're not supposed to conform. Some of you get into whatever you do, whatever, whether your business, um, acting, or all those things, you, you, you just conform. They can't tell the difference between you and the person that is in the world. Because you are, you are good at conforming. Do not be conformed to this word. Do not be conformed, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Do not be conformed to this word. Be transformed by the renewing of your mind. So how do you get transformed? By revelation of God's word. Revelation says... Um, um, revelation means that God is doing it from within you. Do not be transformed, uh, conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Transformation is I'm moving whilst I'm changing, and I'm changing whilst I'm moving because I keep ex exposing myself to the power of God's word. You hear me what I'm saying? I'm changing whilst I'm moving. I'm moving whilst I'm changed because I keep exposing myself to the power of God's word. Um, that you may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. This is the verse that people think that God has three wills. Good, perfect, and acceptable. No, good, acceptable. So you can some people just believe that I married the acceptable will of God. And he married the perfect will of God. Some people will believe that. That I, I'm sure this is my job. It's not the perfect will. I'm sure it's the acceptable will. 
I'm sure it's just the good wheel. No, no, no. God doesn't have three wheels. Now, the and there is not addition, it's description. Yeah? The and there is not addition, it's what? It's description. It's description. So, to get that will be that you may prove what is the good that is acceptable. And that is perfect will of God. So God doesn't have three wills for you. Is that you're in God's will or you're not in God's will? You get what I'm saying? Yeah. You, you read in, in... Let me see if I can get NLT for you. Verse 2. Let me see. Let, let's read it in NLT for you. Don't copy the behavior and customs of this world. That's what it means to be conformed to this word. Don't copy the behavior and customs of this world. But let God transform you into a new person by changing the way you think. When I tell you all the time that if your head doesn't go first, your body can go. The transformation comes first by changing the way you think. The transformation comes first by changing the way you think. Changing the way you think. By changing the way you think, then you will learn to know, watch this, God's will for you, which is good and pleasing and perfect. God's will for you, which is good and pleasing and perfect. Not good, acceptable, perfect. You're not three wills of God. God's will for you, which is good, pleasing, and perfect. So God's will for you is good, pleasing, and perfect. Do you, do you get that? Okay, well, hope you did. We move. Verse 3. For I say through, through the grace given to me, to everyone who is among you, not to think of himself more highly than he ought to think, but to think soberly as God has dealt to each one a measure of faith. A measure of faith doesn't mean God gives us small, that means as, as we're able to receive. Now the determining factor, they're not God. Yeah, a measure of faith. For as we have many members in one body, but all the members do not have the same function. So we being many are one body in Christ and individually members of one body, of one another. Having the gifts differing according to the grace that is given to us, let us use them. So he's explaining now. Um, yes, I've always wondered what not thinking highly of yourself means. It's, not thinking highly of yourself means not to think of yourself outside of the body of Christ. Where you now think that you are better than the body, everybody, the person you're thinking highly than who is a member of the body of Christ, all of you are in the same body. You see that? So think of yourself in the body. Don't think of yourself outside of the body of Christ. When when I know that you are part of the body, I can't it's like my 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 nose thinking itself higher than the ears. No, all of you are in the same body. You see what I mean? You see what I you see what I mean? So you, I can't. The eyes can't think of itself higher. Because when it comes to smell, you know, grace is a leveler that levels all of us together. So don't think of yourself outside of the body. As you thinking <laughs> more than you should, you think you think of yourself as a member of the body of Christ. Do you see what I mean? Because the person who you think you're better than is part of your body. It's part of your body. All right, so where was I now? Having gifts, I'm in verse 6. Have, having then gift differing according to the grace that is given to us, let us use them. If you prophesy, that means you teach the word of God, it's not just thus says the Lord. Yeah, let us prophesy in proportion to our faith or ministry. Let us use it in our mean in. In our ministry, he who teaches in teaching, he who exhorts in exhortation, he who gives with liberality, he who leads with diligence, and he who shows mercy 
with cheerfulness. That's he who does hospitality. That's what it means by who shows me hospitality. You know, does it. I need to read verse 5 to 8 in TPT. Verse 5 to 8 in TPT. Is this boring for you today? It's not boring for me at all. I'm, I'm telling you totally, I'm getting blessed. I'm really, this is blessing me too. Glory to God. And so it is in the body of Christ, for though we are many, we've all been mingled into one body. This means that we all, we are all vitally joined to one another with each contributing to others. Yeah. Um, God's marvelous grace imparts to each one of us varying gift. So if God has given you the grace gift of prophecy, activate your gift by using the proportion of faith you have to prophesy. Seven, if your grace gift is seven, then thrive in serving others well. If you have the grace gift of teaching, then be actively teaching and training others. If you have, you see, be actively teaching and training others. He didn't say go and start ministry. He didn't say go and start church. Be actively teach to those Bible study. Be active and train others. If you have the grace gift of encouraging, then use it often to encourage others. If you have the grace gift of giving to meet the needs of others, hospitality, then may you prosper in your generosity without any fanfare. If you have the gift of leadership, be compassionate about your leadership. And if you have the gift of showing compassion, then flourish in your cheerful display of compassion. King James verse 9, I just want to be thorough with this. Are you learning something? That if you're gifted, that's what it means. If you have the grace, if you're gifted, if you if you feel called into this, do it. Magnify your, your office. Magnify your office. Magnify your gift. Magnify whatever God has called you to do. 9. Let love be without hypocrisy. How about what is evil? Cling to what is good. Let love be without hypocrisy. How about what is evil? And cling to what is good. Be kindly affectionate to one another. Be kindly affectionate to one another. In honor, giving preference to one another. In honor, giving preference to one another. Not lacking in diligence, fervent in spirit, serving the Lord. You show love to one another. So this is this chapter is the Christian service and the Christian conduct chapter. In the whole Bible, this is one chapter that theologians call the Christian service and the Christian conduct chapter. So let love be without hypocrisy. That means don't love people because of what you want to get from them. People will just be showing you love for the first two weeks. You'll be wondering, then third week, they just bill you. We just be showing, oh, blah, blah, blah. Then they've, as you get to the, as you just get relaxed into the love, bam, you just see why they've been loving you since. No, let love be without hypocrisy. About what is evil, cling to what is good. Be kindly affectionate to one another with brotherly love. In honor, giving preference to one another. Not lagging in diligence. Fervent in spirit, serving the Lord. I need to read 9 and 10 in TPT. You see, Monica Ogan was supposed to do this LFC. I'm done. Let's get it. I'm tired. I'm tired. The one I want to have to have to. 9 and 10. Let the inner movement of your heart always be to love one another. Never play the role of an actor wearing a mask. Never play the role of an actor wearing a mask. Despise evil, embrace everything that is good and virtuous. Be devoted and tenderly loving your fellow believers as, a, as members of one family. Try to outdo yourself in respect and honor of one another. Did you see that? Try to outdo yourself in respect and honor for one another. That means when you get to the door, let her pass first before you pass. 
Let the men be gentlemen. Let the sisters look out for each other. Let the brothers be considerate. Let the brothers be pro protective. Try to outdo yourself in respect. Don't see an elder walk past you in church and you're standing. No. No, no, no. No, don't come, Monica. We're almost done with the class. No, you're not a serious person. Yeah, that's it. Glory to God. So be enthusiastic in the service of the Lord. Keep your passion towards him boiling hot. That's how to serve God. Keep your passion towards him boiling hot. Radiate with the glow of the Holy Spirit. Let him fill you with excitement as you serve him. That's how to behave. You move past the sister. How are you? You smile. You wave. Christian conduct. Not do your face like armpits. No, they, not be only you. The Nigeria, they slap sometimes. You smile. You're cautious. You are, you are, you look out. You see man sit down for a chair like this. Women are standing. You cannot even stand and say, no, please can you offer first. Let them reject. If you're serving in church, you serve with energy. Be enthusiastic to serve the Lord. Keep your passion, what? Boiling hot. Radiate with glow of the Holy Spirit and let him fill you with excitement as you serve him. Smile, be cautious, focus, and, you know, be nice. That will even bring your husband quickly. You don't know. So... Verse 12, rejoice in all patient in tribulation, continue steadfastly in prayers. Distributing to the needs of the saints, you're giving toward hospitality. No, Monica shouldn't come to LFC now. We're almost done with LFC. You know how long I've been chasing this person to do LFC. Distributing to the needs of the saints, giving to hospitality. Verse 14. Bless those who hey, whoa, bless those who persecute you. Bless and do not curse. Bless and do not curse. Rejoice with those who rejoice. Weep with those who weep. Rejoice with those who rejoice. Weep with those who weep. Be of the same mind towards one another. Do not set your mind on high things. But as you say it with the humble, do not be wise in your own opinion. That means do not be so disconnected from people that you can no longer relate with them anymore. This is what they're saying. That you can no longer relate with them anymore. No. Do not set your mind on high things and say, I'm higher than these people. No. No, no, no. No. That's not how to do it. get verse 17 repay no evil for evil I, and even if you think you're hired and you think that you have a dumb idea what's your job as your brother and sister is to bring them into that idea of yours into that expansion into that mind expansion bless those who curse you that one is hard i know it's because sometimes you just want to release a word I know some of you all don't feel like that. You're so blessed. You're so spiritually matured. <laughs> I feel like that too. Be of the same mind towards one another. Do not set your mind on high things. Let me do 16 and 17 in TPT. 16, 17 in TPT. Okay, 16, 17 in TPT. 16, 17 in TPT. Glory to God. Yeah. Live happily together in the spirit of harmony. And be as mindful of another's what as you are, as you are your own. Don't live with a lofty mindset, thinking you are too important to serve others. But be willing to do menial tasks and identify with those who are humble minded. Don't be smug or even think for a moment that you don't know that you know it all. Don't go all yeah. Don't do this. Never hold a grudge or try to even to get even, but play your own life around the noblest way to benefit others. Do your best to live as everybody's guy. Yeah. 
16 and 17, I'm going to do that in a message translation. I just want you to get that bath. We're almost done. Make friends with nobodies. Don't be the great somebody. Get along with each other. Don't be stuck up. Get along with each other. Don't be stuck up. Some of you are stuck up. TPT will pull the scripture in your face. You won't, you won't listen. Go to message. Message is more petty. Get along with each other. Don't be stuck up. Make friends with nobodies. Because those nobodies are part of the bodies of Christ. They are nobodies here, but they are part of the bodies of Christ. Get along with each other. Don't be stuck up. Make friends with nobodies. Make friends with nobodies. Don't be the great somebody. Make friends with nobodies. Don't be the great somebody. Don't be stuck up. Make friends with nobodies. Don't be the great somebody. I'm the great somebody. You don't know me. I am the great somebody. I am the great somebody. I don't talk to those people there because I am the great somebody. They don't know my family. No, be for sure. Don't make me. Uh, hey, hey, put yourself together. Make friends with nobodies. Don't be the great somebody. Talking about people, the family of God right now. Don't hit back. Discover beauty in everyone. Discover beauty in everyone. If you've got it in you, get along with everybody. Don't insist on getting even. That's not for you to do. I will do the judging, says God. I will take care of it. So God knows how to take care of it. Don't try to get even with people. God knows how to take care of it. And God sure does. Oh, God sure does. I've seen him. Oh, God sure does. Oh, God shut those. Yeah. All right. We're almost done. We're almost done. The chapter of Christian conduct and good behavior. Sorry. So some of you, this scripture is really slapping at you. I know what you're going through right now. What is the word of God? Yeah. Repay no evil for evil. I mean, verse 17. Have regard for good things in the sight of all men, if it is possible. Now watch verse 18. If it is possible, as much as depends on you, live peaceable with all men. I need to explain that. So there are, there are some peace that is, it doesn't depend on you. Don't kill yourself. So the Bible says 18, if it is possible, as much as it depends on you, Live peaceable with all men. Though there are some, there are some that it is not from you. It doesn't depend on you. It's beyond your possibility. Let it go. The person will be angry with themselves, not you. And just move on. Make sure that you're not reciprocating. You're not responding to that bitterness. If it is possible, as much as it lies within you, it depends. Live peaceable with all men. This verse changed my life as an Edu girl. <laughs> What is it? Oh God. As if it is possible, that means there are some that it is not possible. As much as it depends on you or it lies within you, that means it's your call. Live peaceable with all men. Yeah. But there are some. This should be preached in church. This is church. I don't know what you mean, but we preach it in church. But this is church. Leave peace of all oh men. Beloved, do not avenge yourselves. Beloved, do not avenge yourselves. But rather give space. But rather give space to rot. For it is written, vengeance is mine. I will repay, says the Lord. Therefore, if your enemy is hungry, feed them. Christian conduct, 
Christian behavior. Feed them. If he is thirsty, give him to drink water. For in so doing, you will heap coals of fire on his head. Don't be overcome by evil. Overcome evil with good. I've got to read the scripture, last scripture, antiquity. Like I, the room is quiet today. Like the room is, I can feel the silence in your heart, even if I'm not, like I feel it. From, from, from verse 19 to 21, I'm doing this in TPT and message. Beloved, don't be obsessed with taking revenge. But leave that to God's righteous justice. For the scripture says, vengeance is mine. I will repay, says the Lord. Now the Bible also says, the wrath of man walketh not the righteousness of God. And if your enemy is hungry, buy him lunch. Win him over with kindness. Suffocate him with kindness. For your surprising generosity, we are waking his conscience. And God will reward you with favor. Never let evil defeat you, but defeat evil with good. Message. Don't hit back. Discover the beauty in everyone. If you've got it in you, get along with everybody. Don't insist on getting even. That's not for you to do. I will do the judge and says, God, I'll take care of it. Our scripture tells us that if you see your enemy hungry, go buy that person lunch. If he is thirsty, get him a drink. Your generosity will surprise him with goodness. Don't let evil get the best of you. Get the best of evil by doing good. Glory to God. Tomorrow we shall read Romans chapter number 13, which will cause fight. Tomorrow, Romans chapter 13 will cause fight. It always causes fight. But we'll read it tomorrow. Hey guys, look at me. What's up? What are we praying about this morning? Father, help me to dispense horizontally the love and life that you have given me vertically. And I work well in good Christian behavior. And that's the biggest problem. And you know, that's the best way to teach grace. By they seen Christian behavior. I was in Port Harcourt. And some guys joined Port Harcourt Church. They said to me, the only reason they joined Port Harcourt Church was because they had a, we have a member there who they just saw his life. And it was a loud testimony that there's something about this guy. And that's the best way to get people to Jesus too. Preach the gospel to them, but you be the gospel that they can read. For we are living epistles. Are you listening to me? The prayer point this morning is, Father, help me not to be an embarrassment to this gospel that we teach and preach. Help me to display horizontally the life, the love that I have received vertically in the name of Jesus. I pray for everyone this morning that you build us up. You walk on our character by the word of God. That will not be an embarrassment, an indictment, and a disgrace to the gospel that we preach and teach that will become a loud example of the grace of God in the name of Jesus, in our character, in the way we carry ourselves and in the way we conduct ourselves. I pray, our Father, in Jesus' matchless name. Amen. Amen. We decree that the day is blessed. I will remain the light shining in Jesus' matchless name. Amen. Glory to God. Hey, folks. Um, don't miss me with Koinonia today. It will bless you at 6 p.m. We are at church today. 
it will really bless you. And then tomorrow uh, morning, we continue Romans chapter number 13. It's your boy, Dr. Flourish from the Logic Nation. Never forget, God loves you more than the devil hates you. See you this evening, church, and tomorrow morning. Blessings.